So what you have here is a 3070 door, which means it's three feet wide, seven feet tall. Okay. So now I want to check the measurements of the existing doors to see if they match. The width is fine, three feet wide. Now I want to check the height. I'm going to measure on the hinge side first. And this door is actually cut an inch shorter, so it's six foot 11 on the hinge side. But now I have to check it on the knob side. This is actually, oh, it's even shorter, 10, six foot 10 and 13 16. So this door was cut to fit the opening. Okay. What we need to do is cut this door to match the height and angle of our old door. Before I cut the door with my saw, I want to score it with my utility knife. So when I cut it with the saw, I won't chip the wood. Okay, now I want to make this edge right here even with our new door. And also I want the top even too. Okay. How's that? Now I want to transfer the location of our hinges to our new door and use my combination square and I'll mark the bottom of the hinge, the top of the hinge, and the hinge. Okay. Now you picked out new hardware and the hinges are the exact same size of what the old ones were, four by four. Next thing I have to do is I have to locate the hinge on the door from the face of the door. To do that, I'm gonna take the door and slide it out, take my combination square, slide it down, holding the combination square against the face of the door, slide it down till I meet the, just the edge of the hinge right there make it even, tighten it up, and transfer that mark on the door. All right, now we're ready to mortise the door to inset the hinges. The first thing I need to do is position the hinge over the lines, and then I'm gonna score the door with my knife so I have a nice crisp line. Okay, now I'm gonna take my chisel, and I'm gonna go right on that line that I did with my utility knife, and I'm gonna knock the chisel right in about the depth of the thickness of the hinge. Now the reason I put those notches in there so that when I chisel out the wood, the wood won't splinter and I won't take out a big piece. I also wanna make sure that I hold my chisel in the right orientation. I don't wanna hold it like this and chisel in the wood because it could go down. What I wanna do is I wanna skim off the top, so I'm gonna turn my chisel over and gradually work my way down. Yeah, pretty good. It's really important to pre-drill for the screw. They'll actually hold better, less chance of breaking the screw and splitting the wood. Taking all the old hinges off, and now I'm ready to replace it with half of the new hinge that was on the door. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Let me get it over there. There you go. Okay, now we'll do the bottom one. Okay, that's good. All right, now I wanna check the space right down the side jam here. And it looks pretty consistent. All right here, I got a little bit right here I can plane off. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, we're ready to install the lock set. Okay, great. Okay, now I'm gonna stop right here because I don't wanna drill all the way through the door. I'm gonna drill it from the other side so we don't damage the wood. Now I need to cut a shallow mortise for our deadbolt and our striker. All right, deadbolt's good. All right, Danielle, give it a try. Tom, it works great. Mm -hmm. 